Yo professionals are back and we're doing a full product review on the 2020 Nautica Enforcers and Santa Annas. What's up? <laughs> Bullet 16 speaking. But I ain't stopping, but I ain't stopping, but I ain't stopping anytime so here. So, Nautica Enforcer 100, what do we got? We've got a 100mm waist width underfoot, we've got a 30% tip rocker, and a 20% tail rocker. This ski has a popular beach. Popular and beach, not popular beach. Popular beach wood core mix. It also contains two sheets of carbon and two sheets of titanol. Titanol? Titanol. Titanol. Two sheets of metal. It is the 2020 graphic, even though it is the 2019 Southern Hemisphere season. This bad boy is pretty renowned as an all mountain destroyer. All the mountain? All mountains. How many mountains do you need to destroy to make an all mountain? At, At least five. five. At least five. Five, five mountains to make it all mountain. What do we mean by all mountain? We mean you can take this bad boy anywhere. We mean this ski totally tears it up on trail. When we're looking at places like Ruapehu, we're talking about crud, we're talking about hard pack, we're talking about packed powder, pretty sure that means ice. Varying on trail conditions, not perfectly groomed slopes, which we're then hitting maybe a fresh powder day or slush. All mountain means it'll go anywhere all over the mountain. This ski comes in three main waist widths. The 100, the 93, and new for this season, the 88. The 100, if you're a North Island, South Island skier, you go overseas once a year and you want a ski to do everything, 100 all day long. 93, North Island ski, great real payu ski, dominates that slush, dominates that hard pack. The two layers of metal are what keep this ski damp and what allow it to bust through all that chop and crud. The side cut that's running through here, which is an 18 meter, 18 meter, 18 meter radius, is what gives you that nice big open GS style turn. The 30% nose rocker is what keeps you afloat in the soft snow. The carbon keeps the ski nice and rigid and fast edge to edge. And then the 20% tip rocker that's running on the tail is what's gonna make the ski a little bit friendlier in and out of the turns. So there are a lot of skis on the market with this kind of combination, but what makes the Nordica Enforcer one of the most popular? And it's the combination of the rocker, the carbon, the core, and the metal, titanol, um, that allows the ski to be very high performance, but approachable. This thing skis like a GT Continental. This thing is badass, it'll haul ass when you want to go flying down the hill, it'll smash through anything, but when you put it into cruise mode and you want to just carve your way down the hill, it'll just have a nice, swooping, smooth turn, rolling edge to edge. Oh, like a Prius. Like a Prius. <laughs> so the Nautica Enforcer is one of the best one ski quivers that you can buy on the market. That's why it's so popular for New Zealand variable conditions. If you're rocking the full dad bod and you wanna just cruise and take control, you're all good to go. If you're a bit more of an athlete on the other hand, this bad boy will go with you anywhere you wanna go. So the Nautica Santa Anna, great ski for that intermediate advanced female looking for a daily driver that doesn't wanna to have to have a quiver on piece and off piste but not have to change her skis over if she's traveling overseas. The 93 waist width is probably your perfect ski for New Zealand conditions. It has a nice approachable easy turn in and out on, on trail yet all that 30% tip rocker is what's going to make the ski super friendly off piste. The Santana's drop in a 93 waist width, 100 waist width and a 88 waist width. It's basically the same shape, same style and design as the Nautica Enforcer. The main difference is, is that they put balsa in with the popular beach core. By putting the balsa wood into the core, they've lightened up the ski overall compared to the men's Enforcer. This allows the ski to be lighter, easy to ski edge to edge, and all round a little bit softer flex than the men's ski. And she still goes like a rocket. 
This ski, once again, is one of the most asked for skis coming up for the 2019 season. This is the 2020 graphic because we live in the future.